discuss something very true to my heart which is traumatic brain injury all right traumatic brain injury support month is march i take it very serious it's something else i've experienced being a survivor of four catastrophic traumatic brain injuries i want to start addressing that because i sure know what it's like to go through certain parts of it and i think certain things of it need to be touched on this time we're going to touch on traumatic brain injury and uh neuroplasticity all right. Uh, when I was first in an earlier part of my recovery, I meet a gentleman, Dr. Forbes, and he says to me, you know, I think you're a good example of neuroplasticity. And I'm thinking, what the hell is that, man? You know, <laughs> I never heard of that. But um, <clears throat> neuroplasticity is basically when the brain gets damaged in certain areas, either by brain injury, accident, stroke, things like that, that you have new, no, no, excuse me, new neural pathways that start forming to actually do compensation for some of the damaged areas. So I had four brain injuries on various areas that we'll talk about another time. But um, anyway, so uh, uh, after that, it seems that sometimes I can process information more directly than I could before, and especially when it pertains to things of ESP and cognitive abilities. Sometimes I think that we take so much information in that we filter out. That's been proven. So many gigabytes of uh, information every second that I'm able to filter a lot of that out and access directly those neurons that relate to some things that are either ESP or clairvoyant type of things. It's just something I think that comes along with the phenomenon. Check out the dead zone. That's a good example of that when it's brain rerouted. So anyway, I think this is just something that needs to be examine even more about how the neural pathways can change when the brain is injured in certain places and how we start processing information and how that really affects our cognitive abilities. And, and this is a way, this is for survivors. I'm a survivor, a warrior, many warriors out there, and every brain injury, uh, each brain injury is different, all right? So they, we can't say it's the same for everything, but there's certain guidelines and baselines I think we need to have and neuroplasticity is a good one. It's a good way that's helped me to cope with things uh, and helped me to understand things more and it's good awareness. Thank you. Peace.